It has been passed down from generation to generation to generation that we don't mess with water. Keep watching and I'll tell you what book I'm talking about today. Hey y'all, it's Kyla Dananyo and today we're talking about fulfilling your dreams. Win the Oscar, write that award winning book, do 500 videos and get monetized, fulfill your dreams, okay? Today we're talking about the book, The Covenant of Water. The author of the book is Abraham Vargas. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is literature. Okay, y'all, y'all. 724 pages. When I listened to the audiobook, it was like 33 hours. So good. So my favorite quote is, we don't have children to fulfill our dreams. Children allow us to let go of the dreams we were never meant to fulfill. Okay. What does that have to do with the covenant of water? This book is absolutely heartbreaking in the best way possible. Okay, so this book follows a family that is afraid of water. You see someone marry into the family, the husband's afraid of water, they have a baby, the baby won't put their head in the water. What is going on with this water? It hates water. So then they go on and they have more children. One child loves the water, plays in it all day, can't get enough of the water. Then you have another child. This child loves when it's rain, just sits and watches the water. The child that absolutely hates the water ends up encountering people who are like almost drowning. And so then the kid grows up and you're like, oh my gosh, he was watching the doctor. He's gonna be a doctor. No, Abraham said that's not the storyline. So <laughs> he grows up, still hates water, has a child that loves water loves water but he's so cautious he doesn't want her to ever be around the water and so then the mom is here she's obsessed with water she's walking through monsoons to get here what is this deal with water so back to the quote the granddaughter ends up fulfilling the dreams that the dad thought he might have right and so she becomes a doctor but she finds out there is a genetic issue with their family that has them off kilter or skew when they are around water. It is not just a phobia. It has been passed down from generation to generation to generation that we don't mess with water. And it's so fascinating that it took all these generations, multiple deaths of people, multiple occurrences of waters, large bodies of water, baths, drinking water, all iterations of water to get to the granddaughter who eventually discovers why there is the issue. An incredible book, so good. It's giving Grey's Anatomy in the Middle East. Okay, that's the best way that I'm gonna describe it. This book is phenomenal. This, I was gonna say, this is the type of book that make me not wanna write. <laughs> and I know it's not about reaching his level it's about reaching my level but I yay yay this was phenomenal I don't even think I have this kind of a story in me but this book was very very good okay um I saw this book when President Obama put out his list of must reads for 2023 I was like okay let me pick that up let me see what it's about and it is so good so good okay so if you are interested in more books that are all about water and growing up and coming of age Take a look at this review here, all right? This movie, the movie adaptation for this book was almost better than the book. I mean, scene by scene, the way that I would have played it out, it's perfect. And there's a lot of water scenes as well, all right? So I'll see you in the next video.